can color the front panel background and objects with the user defined colors in the color picker to maintain a consistent color scheme across the VIs in an application. We can change the color associated with a user defined color name. and we can define a new colors to display in the color picker. However, if we change the color associated with a user defined color name, LabVIEW does not apply that change to an objects on the controls palette. For example, If we change the LED on color to a let's say bright blue instead of the default bright green and we add an LED control to the front panel the on color of the control is the default bright green so we will next see uh, how we can change the user defined colors that appear in the color picker these ones or to define new colors to display in the color picker. To do so, go to tools and from there options. The options dialog box appears. Select environment from the category list. In the color section, we can remove the check mark from the use default colors checkbox to change any of the colors associated with the color names listed under the box. Front panel, block diagram, quotient dot, scroll bar, blink foreground, blink background, menu text, and menu background. We can click the color box next to the color name to display the color picker and select a new color. Let's say or something a little different than the existing one and if we select OK and create a new VI then the block diagram 
uh, front panel has that color. So let's go back to the tools menu, options menu. We can click the custom colors to display the user colors dialog box. We can conf configure the user defined colors in any of the uh, following ways. To define a new color, we can enter a name in an empty color name text box. And we can clear, click the color box next to the new name to select a color to associate with that name. We must name user defined colors to display them in the color picker. To change the color associated with a color name, we can click the color box next to the color name to display the color picker and select a new color. So if we now select then our as you can see the new color is appearing over here and the change color is appearing over here. So let's go back. To remove a user defined color from the color picker, we can delete the color name. For example, let's remove ref number. So if we now choose the brush, right click, then there is no ref num so let's get back to restore the default user defined colors we can delete the color names from every text box in the dialog box so let's do that. So if we now recall it, then the default colors are back. So we can click the OK button twice to save the changes.